was doing my uh, registration in Cagayan de Oro, uh, those apartments uh, did not did not allow me to to stay there because they knew that uh, I'm Muslim. And then one time, um, I asked my cousin, who is very fluent in uh, Visaya, uh, he talked to them. And then they said, oh, okay, okay, yes, uh, we have vacant. And then when, when my cousin asked me to come in, and then that owner said, oh, you are Muslim? He said, ah, so sorry, it's full. So it's a very clear indication that they don't want Muslims to stay there. Uh, if I may relate uh, in this uh, BBL, uh, in fact, uh, many analysts or, or writings have, uh, have said that uh, in order to solve the problem, we have to uh, adapt the horizontal, horizontal and vertical approaches. Uh, they're saying that it's not only political issues that should be addressed, rather the, the people to people. Uh, for example, those biases, you know, when you're in Manila wearing hijab, you know, then uh, the taxi would not stop. Oh, no, those kind of uh, those kind of discrimination. If we can also address that one, I think uh, it will be even more uh, easy uh, for us to address the problem. And of course, we are not saying that the political uh, solution uh, is uh, less significant. But what we are saying is that it would be even more effective if we if we are, if we have the approach of you know the vertical and the horizontal approaches. Um, Although we are, I know that I'm not the right person to tell them. Uh, that they should change. But isn't it good if we have this uh, very close relationship regardless of you know religious background, uh, whether you are a Christian or a Muslim? I myself, I have, a, I have, very, I have many friends who are Christians in, in, in uh, Cebu, in, in Manila, in which we don't, we don't have any problem uh, in, in going along together. And even if they come here, uh, they also don't have any problem. But, the, but our problem is those certain individuals, we are not saying that each and every, everyone has this kind of uh, thinking, but certain individuals have this kind of uh, you know, discrimination, um, perhaps quote-unquote, uh, maybe they will not say that it is a kind of discrimination, but we, we just use the word. Uh, why not to, why not to, I mean, don't generalize. I think that's the exact word. Don't generalize. If you have a bad experience toward Muslims, the same thing uh, with the Muslims towards Christians, then don't just say that uh, Christians are bad or Muslims are bad or uh, Muslims are terrorists. Because, you know, uh, it is very right to ask that isn't it also right that many Christians are doing, you know, some crimes and, and, and uh, robbery and so on and so forth, not only Muslims. So just think of those reality and facts. Don't just say that, you know, uh, Muslims. Don't even bother to, uh, you know, to know the name of that uh, person, rather just say Muslim. Because it, it, you, are, you know, you are generalizing the issue, the name. If you uh, ask me, um, assurance, I think the law itself is an, is, is an assurance. Uh, because uh, the right of those uh, non-Muslims who are residing in this area, the right of those IPs who are residing uh, in this area are really protected. And uh, it, has, uh, it is there in, in the BBL that the religious freedom is guaranteed. So what, what more do, do they want uh, as a kind of uh, assurance? If, we, if they want us to uh, say it uh, for the record, yeah, it will be guaranteed. Uh, their their uh, belief, you know, religious belief will not be curtailed in, 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 main, in any way. Thank you. Uh, the idea comes when those people in Manila uh, keep on saying that the BBL has no support from the masses. So we decided, the youth volunteers decided, that we should uh, show to the uh, people in Manila that this BBL is really supported by the masses. So we have uh, more than 500,000 signatures to really support, uh, to really show the support uh, of each and individual Bangsamoro to the Bangsamoro based law as drafted by, by the Bangsamoro Transition Commission. We have to uh, underline the word as drafted by the Bangsamoro Transition Commission because uh, we all know that now in the Congress, they have, uh, they have their own uh, version of the BBL and now in the Senate, uh, Senator Marcos is uh, uh, or has uh, mentioned that he wants to have his own version of the BBL. 
So we support the Bangsamoro Basic Law as drafted by the Bangsamoro Transition Commission because that reflects the uh, FAB and the CAB signed by the GPH and the Imayo. More than half million is not easy to get, uh, as we all know, but we, uh, we had an easy task of getting those signatures because those people are really supporting the BBL. Uh, we don't have uh, to explain to those each and individual what BBL is or what, uh, what can we get from the BBL uh, because they all know perhaps uh, that uh, this BBL is good for each and every Bangsamoro. The new generation are the one. New generations are the one who will be, you know, will be leading the society. Uh, so we have to be concerned to this uh, peace effort, uh, so that those young generations are, uh, you know, that they they can feel that they are part of the process. Uh, therefore, uh, they can contribute. Uh, their their voices are heard. Uh, their concerns are taken care of. So those kind of things, uh, because if, if you do not uh, let them feel that uh, their concerns are heard and heeded, uh, perhaps they would feel that, you know, whatever we do, it, uh, it will not be heard uh, by those people, most especially in Malacanang and in, Sulu, uh, in, in Luzon. But when you um, ask them specific, uh, specific questions, uh, their opinions, then they will really involve them themselves. Very optimistic, most especially that uh, the president of the Philippines is really supporting the BBL. Uh, many occasions he had reiterated that he supports uh, the BBL as drafted by the BTC. Uh, so at least in words uh, and in public statement, the president is really supporting the BBL. Uh, so uh, by that, it's not easy or it's not, uh, it's not uh, very normal that the president is really supporting such measure. So when we have the president who is uh, re reiterating again and again that he supports such bill, then it makes us more optimistic. Mm -hmm. As far as our petition is concerned, we can really tell that those people are really supporting the BBL. Uh, for example, those people, have, uh, many people actually have uh, approached us the, somehow jokingly that can we sign um, many times in order to show that uh, we are really supporting the BBL. But we refrain those uh, individuals because we, uh, we told them that only once, because this is a petition and uh, we don't want repeated names to, to appear here. Uh, that, that is one indication. Another one is that we only started this towards the end of February. So like March, April, May, uh, only three months or uh, let's say 100 days to come up with these 500 uh, signatures. And it's not that easy to have that, not an, unless those people are really supporting uh, that kind of signature campaign. Otherwise, if you have to explain to the people, if you have to, uh, you know, uh, really uh, convince those each and individual that please sign this uh, because it will be good for us and it is more beneficial to us, then you cannot have that uh, half million signatures. By having this, it clearly shows that those people are really supporting it without any doubt. Because if you don't understand the impact to the people, then as if uh, you are only solving the problem of the Bangsamoro people. As if the, the, the problem is only, or the impact is only for the Bangsamoro people. We forgot the fact that the, the impact is to the whole country, and to some extent, to, uh, it reaches regional effect. Uh, that is why if you want to uh, listen to the statement of the uh, regional uh, leaders, uh, like Malaysia, Indonesia, why they involve themselves to this uh, peace process, is. Is, is to you know uh, make this area peaceful uh, and not to be used by so-called uh, terrorist people, a uh, haven of the terrorist people. So if we can solve this problem, uh, we believe that um, the whole region somehow will be relatively peaceful. Mm -hmm. So how much more in the Philippine context? Uh, we we all know that billions of pesos have already spent uh, to to this conflict, then you just think of, uh, you know, of spending that billions of pesos to infrastructure, scholarships, uh, you know, uh, to the education, books, and so on and so forth, those uh, children who do not have even their shelters, uh, while using it to, you know, uh, buying more weapons and munitions and so on and so forth, in killing your fellow uh, human being.